accept it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. when we see symptoms like blurry vision mm -hmm. or that frequent urination getting up at night, uh, if we're excessively thirsty, um, those are signals that we should see a physician. Definitely. And, and the headaches and those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Because you know we're pretty good at rationalizing. Everything is yes. gas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when it isn't gas, I just need to lay down and put my uh, foot up. Oh, right? yes. No, one of the oh, things I'm just we tired. Know, yes. 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 We know self-diagnosis. We're good at that yes. self-diagnosis. <laughs> <laughs> or we go to the internet. Yes. And, yes. and, and Dr. Google. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> And so when it comes to women's health, uh, and certainly I didn't pay as much attention to it mm -hmm. uh, until I hit 40. Mm -hmm. Because at 40, I think that's the time when women experience a lot of changes or mm -hmm. they, they start to slow down or they start to see, um, you know, you're not so young, you don't have that quick bounce back so much, particularly if you're not physically active. Mm -hmm. um, and so it wasn't until I got much older that I started to pay attention to the things that I, th I thought would damage my body or mm -hmm. taking care of illnesses as mm -hmm. they came along. Because sometimes, you know, because we balance so much, like we're moms, we're career women, we're involved in sororities mm -hmm. and groups, and so we're yeah. running from place to place mm -hmm. that we are our last priority. Exactly. Yes. And so we get home tired, we go to bed, mm -hmm. and we, we, we tell ourselves that we have so much to do that a doctor's visit is not priority, a priority, right? Yes. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do we get women, because our show is you know, focused on women, mm -hmm. how do we get women to change that mindset, uh, to change the mindset of having, you know, what should they do? How often should they get tested for certain silent diseases? Or um, how often should they speak to someone about their wellness and creating a nutrition plan? What would your recommendation be for, for that? Well, certainly, um, even as children, we start off by seeing our pediatrician. You know, you go for an annual visit. And that really should continue into adulthood. I know when you're in your 20s, most people feel invincible. You know, mm -hmm. they feel they can conquer the world. Yeah. So they don't really need to see a doctor because they don't have any illnesses. That's for older people. Okay, But really, when you talk about diseases like diabetes, the ADA, which is the American Diabetes Association, recommends that all persons, all adults should really be screened. Well, anybody at any age should be screened for diabetes once they're overweight okay. mm. because we see diabetes, type 2 diabetes, even in children. Okay. Yes, which okay? is sad. Which yeah. is sad. So again, you look at risk factors. If you're overweight, that's a risk factor. If you have a family, um, a first degree relative, we say, which is a mother, a father, a sister, or a brother who has diabetes, then you should be screened. Okay. Okay? If you are black, you should really be screened. Mm. Okay. If you are American Indian, you should be screened. Okay. If you have polycystic ovarian syndrome, you should be screened. Okay. If you've had gestational diabetes, you should be screened. Okay. So the ADA recommends that you should really screen most adults. There are some organizations who recommend screening between the ages of 40 and 75, but then again, you know, you may miss some people. All right. So certainly getting screened for diabetes is is on your list. The other thing is knowing what your blood pressure readings are. Like you said, women, we're so busy trying to take care of everybody, trying to conquer the world, trying to change so many things that you neglect yes. your personal health. All right. So it's important for you to know your body, stay in tune with it. And if something is wrong, seek um, medical help. And you should always have your annual physical exam because it provides the opportunity for screening. Okay.